This is Gemini and what you need to know about privacy. Now first, when considering the law, we have to understand that Gemini is a large language model, which means it's capable of generating language and it's capable of doing natural language processes. Therefore, Gemini is not directly subject to the Family Educational Rights and Protection Act, the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, and even specific state laws. Why is this? Those laws are designed to protect the personal information of students and minors and any action that could potentially involve the collection and processing of their information. So what this means is if we're using student data and information with Gemini, we must adhere to FERPA, COPA, and any specific state laws and other jurisdictions like the GDPR and Europe. Ultimately, the responsibility for compliance lies with the organization. That means the schools. So we have to be compliant. So ways to be compliant would include minimizing the amount of data we collect and process, having really robust and strong security measures in place, and being very clear with our policies about what data is collected and what data is kept or deleted. And as required by law, we should be practicing informed consent and getting consent from parents and guardians when we're using their children's data. In terms of transparency, we must provide clear policies on how information will be collected, used, even shared, and deleted. We must allow individuals as well to have access to their information and even correct it. Schools must understand that Gemini collects our conversations and other related information, and they have real human beings process that data. There are three tiers of Gemini in the education workspace. Gemini Education and Gemini Education Premium are paid versions. The free version does not have as strong security and privacy settings. It will in the future, but what does that mean now? It means that if you're using the free version, schools might consider turning it off if they're very conscious about privacy and security. Schools should choose whether to turn Gemini on or off, and if it's on, who uses it? Develop a responsible AI use policy or add an addendum to an existing technology policy. And keep in mind, this is new technology. It's emerging and things are changing quickly. Users must know how it works, about privacy and security, and if they're using it for schoolwork, corroborate with other sources of information. It's not perfect. Take time to learn about Gemini, privacy, security, and make the experience enjoyable for your constituents.